Hello, my name is Lisa and I'm an Advanced Nurse Practitioner in Children's Respiratory at Midland Regional Hospital, Portlaoise. When you purchase a new space or device, it is important that you wash the device in warm, soapy water. This not only cleans the device, but it also prevents the medication from sticking to the wall of the spacer device. This is known as priming. The next step is to shake the blue inhaler to mix the medication effectively. Then remove the blue cap from the blue inhaler and attach it to the end of the spacer. Place the mouthpiece in the child's mouth between their lips and teeth. Ask them to close their lips firmly around the mouthpiece and to breathe comfortably. Alternatively, if you're using a spacer with a face mask, fit the mask comfortably around the child's nose and mouth and ask them to breathe comfortably. Then press the blue inhaler. Ask the child to breathe in and out five to six times. If your child needs a second dose of the blue inhaler, please repeat this process. Your child can use the spacer device for both their controller inhaler. This is also known as their steroid inhaler, which may be colored brown, orange or purple and their blue inhaler. However, it is important that you rinse out the child's mouth after using their controller inhaler as it can cause oral thrush, sore mouth or change in voice. Thank you for watching this video on inhaler technique. If you have any concerns about your child's inhaler technique, please contact your asthma care provider.